Hello, good morning and welcome to today's video. My name's Emma, make sure you stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and all sorts of fun things. We've been doing some Easter hauls, we've got some Easter decoration and Panland bits and bobs coming up soon, but today I thought I'd do a little vlog. I am stroking the dog. <laughs> My hand just looks like I'm going do, do, do. stroking the dog. Today I'm going to do a fun little vlog. We are off to Crofts. Moving cake out of the way. No puppy. We are off to Crofts. I'm going to Crofts with my lovely friend Jocelyn. Uh, she's also got a YouTube channel. I'll leave it down below. I've known her since I started blogging. It's a long time. Our kids are all really good friends. Um, so Jocelyn and I are like, do you know what? We love dogs. She's got a little um, sausage dog called Herbie. And obviously I've got my Zushan called Margot. So we thought we'd go, we can't take the dogs. I did think whilst I was booking the tickets, oh, maybe we could take the dogs. But they were like, no, you can't. And then it dawned on me like, 20,000 people and 20,000 dogs would be mayhem, but there will be dogs there. I think there's like a section where you can go around and like pet the dogs. <gasps> oh, I'll definitely take you to that. So that'll be exciting. So um, if you never heard of Crufts, Crufts is like a four day show of dogs. They do all sorts of shows and no Margie. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her troubled fish. They do all sorts of um, like agility shows and then there's like prizes and it culminates in a scenario with like the best dog of the year and oh just puppies and I'm hoping they're gonna have like little bits where I can buy like Margot like a little jumper or some treats or get some free samples I love a free sample and also in the last video I showed these lemon bakewells and you lot were like have you tried them they're amazing and I thought I'm gonna take them because when Jocelyn and I have a Christmas party every year they go out of date today, which, mis which means we must eat all six. Um, gosh, they've got a quick turnaround, haven't they? Blimey, minute, Mr. Kipling. You don't mess about. Uh, whenever Justin and I have our little Christmas party, which we do every year, we um, have my favourite festive bakers, as you know. So I'm going to take a lemon bakewell as a treat. And we can have a little cup of tea and a lemon bakewell in between looking at puppies. Does that not sound like the dream day? And also, enjoy this fluffy face <laughs> because my Margie, let me pull you up, guys. Oh, cake on your head. She's going to have a groom. She's going to be groomed today. And last time she had a puppy groom, not my earring. Not my earring, lovely. She's, it's just like having a baby. Yes, we're talking about you. She's going to be groomed today um, and I am unsure if she will still be fluffy because the last time the lovely lady did like a puppy cut and I don't know if she has like a proper cut. But she's floof, the floof, the floof. And we have to brush her like pretty much most days. Which was lovely, not my earring. You know like when babies grab your earrings. So, gonna get in the car, drive into the NEC. I feel like it's not called the NEC anymore. I think it might have been called the uh, Genting or that somewhere else. Go into the NEC and I will show you around We'll look at the puppies, I'll buy the stuff and then I'll come home and I'll show you the baby's new haircut. Um, I'm wondering if she's going to be much smaller once she's had all the fluff removed. Look at her. Look at her. And I've got my um, I'm Nice and When I'm at Disney <laughs> t-shirt, leopard print skirt and I've got my Doc Martens. Um, I did mention on my Insta stories but how I walked my Doc Martens in because loads of you are like, fascinated. So... In my video the other day I had thick socks on and then I did a couple of short walks with thick socks on and then I actually wore these in London for the day with a like a plaster on one on my left ankle because my right ankle the skin's numb at the back so it's joyous I can't feel the pain so I had um, a, a plaster on and then I wore them out the other night and they're, they're fine I broke them in I did go for like um, like I don't even eat I do not know if you saw anything then I did go for, I don't know if you can tell, it's, there we go, it's like a softer leather and a zip, so maybe that helps, I asked which, and um, they're a little bit higher I think, I think normal dot mines maybe stop like there, so maybe that helps, um, Margot's just thinking, if I sit here long enough she's gonna give me a cake, but Margot, you're wrong. Right my friends, let's go. Sniff some puppies. This is my puppy voice. My puppy lips. Oh, I will never do that on the internet again. Hooray! After walking seven million miles, I've made it. Jocelyn's waiting for me inside, so this is 
the NAC. This is Welcome to Crufts, where every dog has its day. I'm absolutely beside myself with joy. Like, I'm gonna, oh, this is so exciting. So here we are, and I will show you inside. I'm here with lovely Jocelyn. I will leave a link to her channel below. She does stationery. She does, um, what's it called? What would you call it? Pen pals. Pen -pals. You, want, you want pen pals? She does it. We are going to the, what's the section called, Jocelyn? Discover dogs. Discover dogs. Oh, oh, I want to discover a dog. I'm going to put it in my pocket. Um, it's very noisy in here. Lots of stalls. I feel a bit over the, overwhelmed, but thrilled. Um, so let's go and discover some dogs. I am so overwhelmed. So literally you walk down here and you just meet dogs. How many dogs do you reckon we've met? I've met like 30. 30 dogs. And we're not even, we're not even halfway through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and then I'm going to come back and see if they'll let me show you some of their dogs. The Shih Tzu particularly. And we've got a hot chocolate. Hot orange hot chocolate. Standard hot chocolate. Meeting dogs. This is one of the best days of my life. Fact. Guys, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we're about to try the lemon bakewell and we're watching a show while we're doing There's currently a dog walking around with its own lead in its mouth. They just did a little dance. There's a lady with pink hair, she's amazing. Right, I'm gonna try this now. I'm back in the car where can I see oh my gosh guys when I tell you what a lovely day I've left Jocelyn there she's like I'm going back to pet all the dogs I was like I'm a bit overwhelmed now I've been here a long time I need to go home and have a cup of tea it is such a lovely day so the hall that I showed you we were walking around and I was like, oh. And then she's like, you know there's four other halls? I was like, what? There's was like shops. So we had like went round and bought shops. I'll show you some of the stuff I, we went round and looked at shops and bought stuff. I'll show you some of the stuff I got. Justin bought loads. Um, we watched some dog shows, some agility, some people like, um, some young kennel members. I just loved it. All the people with the dogs were the loveliest people. I spoke to like a Bichon Freeze um, lady. I spoke to a Shih Tzu lady because obviously Margot's half and half and I was asking tips about grooming, tips about them getting dirt in their eyes. And Oh my gosh, I just... You all need to come. You all need to come here. In fact, you're watching this on the Saturday morning at seven o'clock. See if you can come today and tomorrow um, I think I imagine it's a lot busier at the weekend Jocelyn's been at the weekend and she's like it is a lot busier um but today was just chef's kiss I'll show you some of the bits and bobs that I got my little Margie Fargy so I got her this little toy look at his face look at his face this is five pounds um it's got like rope in his arms rope in his legs let me know if you've got dogs if they went wild. I bet they did. So I got her that. I also got her um, a new lead and collar. And it is, um, this was I think £7 and £10 or £12 or something. It's got like bumblebees on it and I just thought that was so cute. So I got a little collar and like a new lead and also this lead is a good colour because it will hide the dirty mud. Because you know what dogs are like, they like getting muddy. I've got a free sample of a shampoo. 
Bugaloops shampoo. So vegan, not test tested by humans, not animals. So I will put that in our downstairs bathroom. I also was going, what do I do about, you know, she comes in and she's muddy to her bath every time. And oh, I just asked all the questions and I'm sure the people loved it because they're all dog people. I will show you the little bits and bobs I picked up from. So there's one section, I'm not sure if I explained it very well, where it's just every kennel club dog you can imagine. I don't know how many varieties there are. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comment. And you just walk down and you can go and meet every dog. You can chat to every dog owner. There's leaflets about the dog. There's information about the dog. There's a <laughs> fly on my Oh my gosh, I've got a fly in my um, eyebrow. There's just so much info. Oh, just, they're all beautifully decorated. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So I went to the Shih Tzu lady who I actually went back and she had the most gorgeous Shih Tzu and his little tooth are like that. And she's like, oh, I don't like it when he does that. I was like, no, it's just so cute. And she'd made some rosettes. It says on the back at the back. Sarah Wen rosettes, but she'd made rosettes and it says, I've been to discover dogs and saw shih tzus. And I got one for the kids. I got one each for the kids and one for me. Cause, you know, I just thought maybe it's gone a bit dark. It's, it's very bright, it's a lovely sunny day today. Hang on. I mean, I don't think that's made any difference, but I got that. Loads of them had rosettes. And I, me and Justin were saying, because her children are pretty much the same age as my children. And I was like, if the kids were here, they would go home covered in rosettes because there was just so many of them all the dogs you met loved that and then um i met i put on my insta stories i met i went to the westie lady oh, she's so nice and when i tell you that westie looks so much like my lucy i got a little bit that's a bit better i've opened the door it's really hot it's warm spring is a coming people when i tell you that um the dog reminded me and justin was like oh my gosh it's so much like lucy and i was like and i was saying oh i lost my lucy and my kids still miss her and the kids miss her and they talk about her all the time and they make little montages of her and as much as they love margo they still really miss lucy and she was like do you want some westy stuff and i was like and she gave me oh my gosh me and Justin were like, oh, she is the loveliest. Pe she gave me some Westie pens, so I'd give them a pen each. I love Westies. The people are so kind. I love Westies. So I'd give the kids one of those each. She gave me, um, she gave me a postcard. I want a couple of postcards. I wonder if they've got her name on it. This is you, you're amazing. Um, picture of a Westie puppy. Hello, my name is Millie and I love you all. I've got two of those. Hello, my name is Millie and I love you all. I'm telling you, overwhelmed. I love Westie's bracelets. This, she just gave them to me. She's like, here you go. She just gave them to me. Oh my gosh. And a little keyring. And somewhere there's a badge. And it's just like a little I love Westie's keyring. Whoops. I need to find out the badge. So one can have the keyring, one can have the badge. Um, how lovely and kind is that? Oh, when I grow older, I want to be a dog person who, um, there was one lady and I can't remember what breed of dog she had, but there was four there. And I said, are all these yours? And she said, yeah. I said, do you have any more? She's got 10. 10 dogs. I was like, sending pictures to Stephen saying, I like this one. I like this one. <laughs> and Jocelyn was sending them to her husband, Paul. I want this one. Should we get this one? So, um, lovely, lovely time. I'm going to go back now. And I, uh, Margot is being picked up um, at five. So I'll be really intrigued to see what she's going to look like. Uh, when I was speaking to the Shih Tzu lady about brushing her and I said, oh, you know, she can get quite matted. They're like, that's really common. So I think Stephen's opted to brush her, cut her a bit shorter. Uh, I am aware if you're watching this and you're not a dog person, you're probably like, shut up. But if you are a dog person, leave in the comments what dog you have, what dog you had, what dog you want. I love it. Right. Time to go home. Hello, my loves. We are back home. I am um, checking that I've not got pasta on my face. I also have done my hair back to the side parting and I'm not going to fib. 
I prefer it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. Be kind, but I do quite like it. And it's I'm, I think I might grow it a little bit longer. I don't know. But I did get an H&M parcel. I am going uh, to Disney World. Don't know if I mentioned it. Nice when I'm at Disney. I don't know if I've mentioned it. Emmy mentioned it continuously. But I am going to Disney World. And before we start, I do realise my bra is hanging off the door. <laughs> Apologies. It's a different one to the one I'm wearing. But yeah, H&M have got a bit of a... Um, I don't know if it'll still be on. But if you remember, which I think is free to join... Every so often you get like 30% off things. So I bought some of the things you get 30% off. And I also um, added a couple of little extra bits. So I've got some Disney stuff. We've got stuff upstairs. So I will definitely do a video where we go through all that. And get all those bits and bobs out. So we know exactly what to get. But I saw these. They're on offer. You know we'll have a bargain. I like H&M. It's free delivery. Good quality. They're generally in between age brackets. So they can wear them for like two years happy days so for my boy i got age eight to ten so this will fit this year and next year i got a really like this marvel all over t-shirt really liked that i thought that was brilliant and then um kind of just real simple steven would have liked this kind of thing simple basic marvel t-shirt really like those um, just great with a pair of shorts. I thought those would be fab. I spotted this. Now, this may have been one of the ones that perhaps hadn't got the money off. Um, this is for my, my girl. This would look great with some black lycra shorts. And this is 10 to 12, so this will last next summer as well. thought that was really cute. Strawstring so it can be pulled in. So yeah, that was really nice. Uh, I got this. Um, this these were only a few pounds. Um, Mickey Mouse, um, probably for my boy. But I do think it's skinny fit that one. But I loved that. Thought that was really really cute. We're hoping we're going to go to Universal. It's very yellow in here. It's all yellow, but you're getting the gif. The gif. The gif. I'm going to go to Universal, so I've got a little Harry Potter top. This was a two-pack as well. Really like this. This is Mickey, and what I think is really unusual that it says Walt Disney. I don't think things tend to say Walt Disney, do they? usually get like Disney, um, unless it's like from Walt Disney World, but I thought that was really cool. Again, with some black lycra shorts or some denim shorts. I thought that was really nice. It's got a little Disney logo in the bottom. This one got one as well. Oh, this one's got one as well. Just a nice Mickey one. Um, I'm not going to get... She's like... Like Mickey. Um, don't think I'll be getting too much mini stuff unless there's like tie-dye stuff because she prefers kind of... Not the kind of like really girly stuff because she's got her own little style now. This is very 90s, thought this was perfect as well, with some little cycling shorts, thought this was really cute. We are obviously having the old everything's cropped issue. Which is just what happens with girls, and as we've discussed on the channel a million times, it's always what happens. We're just having to embrace it, it's fine. Yeah, this is great. Now I got this out and I, this is age 10 to 12 kids. I am a size 18 lady. This. I think I don't understand the oversized trend. Because this is the size of me. I'm going to try it on. If I get stuck in the top, please phone the police and say, Emma in Birmingham, or the fire engine is stuck. Tight. Sure. Can I not breathe very well? Yeah. But it's still like strange, isn't it? I'm just not trendy. I don't understand oversized stuff. Let's just embrace it. I mean, it's even more oversized now. I've squeezed my big 
fat head in it. Um, very 90s, very, it reminds me a bit of like um, the goofy movie kind of vibe. And the last little ensemble, which was definitely in the 30% off, comes with a little hat with an animal print on. I thought this is great for uh, Animal Kingdom. We've got, I will not be trying this on, a little purple top and some little black shorts. And this would be great. These can be used for other things as well. 11 to 12. So there we go, my friends. We have seen a little bit of H&M Disney goodness. I will be showing you more stuff and I'll collate stuff and probably do like a big, huge, massive what I'm taking. We obviously were supposed to be going at Christmas and we couldn't go. There will be some stuff from there. There's some stuff from when we went on the cruise, which I have put in stories that I can get out. So there'll be lo there's loads of stuff from there. So my boy actually had loads of new stuff. So, um, and I'm sure there'll be a Primark haul before we go. Right. I'm going to go tidy up and then I will give you a quick clip of Margot when she gets back from the groomers. Stephen's just gone to get her. I am over the moon and thinking of what this little cute little munchkin is going to look like. Um, who the heck is this? I kid you not, if this dog walked up to me in a park, I would be like, who the heck are you? Margie? <laughs> Let her eat a dinner like, with the with the tongue. Like who is this? Stephen, who is this dog? This is not this is not. Who are you? You know what? She's flipping enjoying her food. I know that much. You hungry, Margie? Margo! She's like licking the bowl clean. Let's show you properly. Who are you? Uh, excuse me, who are you? Or oh, the fluff? Where has the fluff gone? Always oh, the fluff. Show your people the body. Uh, this is who is this person? Because this is not my Margie. He, oh. Why are you? Oh, you got a bit of a, a, bit of a itchy eye. Oh. So there we go, the grand finale of the whole video is a strange dog in my house oh she's got her little toy that i got her today so she's very happy oh uh, you got your monkey did you get the monkey oh monkey oh. do you like her what? Okay. <laughs> so there we go we've done a lot of dogs we've done a bit of disney dogs and disney what more can people want from life don't know, I'm still confused by that creature there. That's not my Margie. She looks so happy. Right guys, I will be back. It sounds like somebody's doing a wee in the background, they're not. It's Stephen's doing the washing up. It sounds like somebody's just having a little wee. They're not. Right, I'll be back in another few days for another video. Love you lots, bye guys.